Hi. <laughs> We're from the business team in Variance. My name is Sabrina. Variance. <laughs> My name is Jeremy. Um, and yeah, I'm currently a business student studying at USC in the US. And I am currently an uprising senior. I am a rising junior, not an uprising. Uh, I study econ uprising. at the University of California, Berkeley, in California, in the United States. And I'm also on the business team here. Right, so the first question is why did you choose to work with Virius before you came? Uh, well, I wanted to so I learned some things in school as you're supposed to and I was like, hey Why don't I use some of these things in real life? <laughs> and I was like, okay, let's look for a company that will let me do that and then AIC offered me variants and I took it For me, That's it. <laughs> for me, um, my concentration is actually in entrepreneurship, and so when I learned that this was actually a startup, I thought it would be some good experience for me to learn the processes that a startup company has to go through, mm -hmm. as I will probably be doing these exact same processes in the future, and I thought it would be cool to work with work in the tech industry because I don't really have, prior to this I didn't really have any experience with tech so I thought it would be cool to learn a little bit more about the field. Also for clarity, clarification, AIC is a program that I came to Singapore through so yeah and they like found, looked for internships for me. And me. Yeah. So All right. both of us. <laughs> <laughs> what does Variance do? What kind of products slash services did you work on? Well, Variance is a very, very adaptable company. We do all sorts of things. We can even sell hardware, but we focus on software as a service. And the primary thing that me and Sabrina worked on was Resident, which is a smart IoT home slash estate management company or service. Um, yeah, Sabrina? Yeah, so basically, um, we worked on putting a lot of the marketing material together. We put some internal documents together. For instance, we put together like this big booklet describing all the different functionalities of our software, um, the platform in particular, which the tech team had been working on. Mm, yeah, so the, essentially we kind of went through what we were supposed to go through the entire product cycle. I'm not sure how successful that was, mm -hmm. but we tried. <laughs> a plus for effort. Yay. All right, next question. What is your role and responsibility? All right, we kind of touched on that. So our official roles are uh, business, business readiness, readiness and enablement. Okay. Right? Development. Oh. Mm. Anyway, um, and our responsibilities was literally business development. Oh, uh, so it's a product, and we're supposed to take that product and make it and sellable. Yes. Mm. That's essentially what the uh, responsibilities were. Yeah. All right. How do you best describe the working environment? Um, well, so we're actually working in a co-working mm. office, and that has a fundamentally different vibe than mm. from, like a traditional office, you know, because there's no, there's no cubicles for one. Um, and there's no, you know, uh, assigned area for each company. So basically, as long as you get there early enough, which I usually do because no one comes in early here, <laughs> I get to sit wherever I want. Um, yeah, uh, so <laughs> uh, it's very different from a traditional office. There's not, you can, there's always a constant level of chatter like mm -hmm. movement going on because it's not just us there's always a lot of people other people in the office um so it's very casual yeah, yeah. very casual yeah. yeah it's pretty cool because this co-working space in particular is meant for mainly tech startups as well and so um we haven't had the chance too much to talk to other people in this office but there are there have been a couple of times where we talk to people and you know we've heard about what 
they're trying to create right now. And it's kind of just like a good overlook into what's currently happening in the market, especially within like the, the tech industry. Mm -hmm. All right. Any out of office activities during the internship, what are they? Um, there were a lot. Um, I went, we did international travel in the area. Mm. We explored some Singapore. We had events through oh, We also AIC. had events through AIC. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. We went like, to like Universal Studios. We had the Bumbo tour. Mm. Uh, we went to Phuket actually as an intern team. That was, mm. and it was okay. I missed my, I, did, I didn't miss my flight. I missed the chicken time, which is stupid. But you know, <laughs> I don't want this. This airline in this part of the world, so. <laughs> Don't drop <me> names. Mm. <coughs> Jet Star. Yes. <coughs> Wait, we can actually get sued. We can probably get sued. Why would we get sued? I'm this is customer complaint. Jet Star, you have horrible customer service. All right. Yikes. What is the craziest, funniest thing you experienced during your internship? Mm. Craziest in what sense? Like, I want to pull my hair out crazy, so like, oh, that's crazy, kind of crazy. Mm. Either way, I think I'm going to answer the time when we went to that convention, and... Which one? There were so many. I'd say the first one, actually. Because mm -hmm. I walked in there, I was like, what the hell? Oh yeah, that was like on our first day, and we didn't... No anything. We didn't really know much. Anything. Not much. Anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and then we stayed until 10.30, which is, which is great. Yeah, I think that was probably one of the more wildest. It was wild indeed. Yeah. <laughs> events, having to stay so late on your first day. Yeah. That was, um, wild. unexpected. Probably the craziest thing we did. There's not much we did. That was crazy in the office. Not much you can do in the office. <laughs> mm. All right. Spill the beans. What's the joke among the interns at the management? Just don't get it. Yeah. All right, so there's this throwback. That English though. Ooh, Sabrina. <laughs> All right, so there's this throwback. Well, I, I wouldn't categorize that as a meme, but like slang, if you will, of a yeet. <laughs> we use that a lot in the office. Uh, Phil doesn't know what that means. We're gonna keep mm. it that way. You're you're probably gonna Google this, aren't you? All right, do so, Philip. Do so. Um, but yeah, we use yeet a lot, so it's not really a joke, but something like let's get inside here. Yeah. All right, next question for you. Press the button. Thanks. What is your favorite memory so far with variants? Cody had to open the lockers when it was locked <laughs> and he spent an hour and a half testing each and every number. I was dead. Hmm, yeah. And also when we finished the booklet, because that took us such a long time, it was a sense of achievement and accomplishment. Mm -hmm. yeah. The time when June fell off his chair just miraculously <laughs> and we were all just like, <laughs> how? <laughs> You were just sitting. I was blessed. <laughs> T <-Y> <laughs> Alright. Did variants differ from what you expected? If so, how? Yes. Yes. It did differ. Um, it was a lot more office work or working than I thought it would be. I knew that I probably would be working more than the average person because this is a startup, but bro. <laughs> Saturdays. <laughs> Same. Why did why why you don't tell me before I come? <laughs> <laughs> Same. Anyways, um, besides from that, I didn't know that it was in a uh, what do you call it? Co-working co co office. Space. I think I preferred co-working office just because like when I talked to some of my friends from Berkeley who came here with or not with me, I met them here. But they say that their office is so stiflingly quiet that like they can't make any sound. A lot of them don't have um let anyone to talk to. Sometimes some of them go to lunch by themselves because they don't have any other interns with them and all the workers oh, are like old. That's 
So like, yeah. So was, I think the social aspect was of it was pretty good. Yeah. All right. How have you grown throughout this experience? I'm much better at Googling. Mm. Also, I'm like, I have less shame. <laughs> what are the conventions? I, I pretend that I'm interested in their product, and all I want to do is steal their secrets. JK. Like, I think I'm better at approaching people at the conventions now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I'm bad at it before, but I think I'm better now, definitely, in order to strike up, like, surface level, like, conversation, like, small talk, um, and lead into like what I want, what I want to talk about when I approach the leaf. So I think it's improved. If I level as a snack, I like to think that I do. What about you? Um, it's a good question. Well, as our dear leader likes to say, <laughs> yes, comrade, continue. <laughs> what is it? Fail fast. Die hard. No, like fail fast, grow fast. Yeah. Basically fail fast. Um, yeah, I think for me, when I do things, I tend to like to take my time mm -hmm. and be thorough with it, make sure that it's of par when I release it out into the wild. <laughs> into the wild? <laughs> into the wild. Um, but sometimes you're just in a time crunch. And it's better, sometimes it's just better to like Do it and move on Do it and move on Learn from your mistakes and go on from there As opposed to actually trying to take your time Trying to like Look things up yourself Like figuring out how to do it Just take the fail, take the L Take the camera Take the L Take that big fat L Alright What is your favorite memory about Singapore? Singapore. Ah, Singapore. Oh, Singapore. I think my the Bumbo tour was actually really mm. impactful. I guess I would say. Mm. Yeah, it was really fun, and it was a really really good introduction to my uh, coding for two months. That was great. Mm. I think my favorite memory would probably be going to Gardens by the Bay. Um. As far as I know, I'm not aware of anything that is of similar caliber from where I don from. Um, and yeah, something that I've learned about myself is that I enjoy looking at nature, but only in man-made settings. So, so that really nature. Can't really take the city out of the girl, am I right? <laughs> All right. Moving on. Your favorite? Eh? What is your favorite thing about Singapore? Um. Oh, okay, okay. My favorite thing about Singapore is that it has a public transportation system that's not really public, but it's mass transit that takes you places. Um, yeah, in California, you, it's not, buses are okay. But like, public transportation is almost non-existent. BART is shite. <laughs> Same in New York. I don't even have one. <laughs> we have one that's like slowly dying because they're not... Renovating okay. it quickly enough. <laughs> Alright, moving on. I didn't even answer the question. Did you That's want to answer the question? So rude. I was about to say that things are cheaper here. Oh, sorry. But also, things are cheaper like elsewhere. <laughs> it's just the US. <laughs> and Scandinavia. <laughs> Alright. If you could eat only one type of cuisine for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, Since I'm of Korean descent, although I am an American born in California, Los Angeles, I, I, I was born and raised in Los Angeles. You sure? <laughs> I think probably Korean because I'm just used to it the most. Mm. Yes, I'm sure. Answer this question. I don't know. So your answer would just be Chinese. Yeah. But like Hong Kong Chinese. Mm. Yeah. Alright. Who do you think would best fit taking up the internship experience? Why? Um, so you really need to be a go getter here. Elon Musk. Elon <laughs> Musk. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely, yes, <laughs> I agree. Um, you really need to not like sleeping. <laughs> mm, you need to be independent. 
you, you need to know how to you have to be very resourceful take control of situations yeah. you need to be manage ambiguity feet. you got to be good at google <laughs> google is my best friend mm. um yeah um so you really though. just got to oh i honestly i think the single most important factor in how well you do in your internship is if you're interested in that area yeah. i think that is what really makes the difference in the mm. end yeah. mm. So I think interest is very, very important. What is your one most valuable advice to folks who are interested in variance? Mm, really make sure that you know what you'd be doing at the company before you mm. like apply. Um, mm. Like I said, it is a startup company, so you'll probably be doing a lot of stuff, mm. even if it's a little bit outside your, the scope of your job when mm. you initially sign up, and, which is yeah. fine. Um, you're probably gonna be expected to do that no matter where you go, mm. but don't just sign up because it sounds like cool. fun or sounds cool. Sign up because you're really interested for mm. in it because it's going to be a lot of work. And if you're mm. not interested in it, then you're just going to hate yourself. And just be wary of the fact that you might come across a lot of personal discomfort. Mm. But I mean, the point of an internship is so that Step you can out of your comfort zone, yeah. grow out of your shell. So you think you survived the internship experience? Is that a question? Is that, do you think you survived the internship experience? Um, no, I'm dead. Um, I've died 20 times over. Um, I'm located somewhere in the pits of hell. Mm. Which level? Maybe like five. Oh, um, mm. okay. Yeah. Not quite in the center yet, which is like frozen over as Dante describes um, it. So TLDR, we're dead. <laughs> Deceased. Oh, okay, that's the end. Alright, we're done. Alright. How long was that? That was very long. It was. Who's gonna watch this? Um, Wait, is this not recording? Yeah. No! <laughs> Wait, what? I said, who's gonna watch this? It was like so long. Yeah. And he's like, it's still recording. Oh. Alright, can we, can we, can we stop this now? <laughs> Please. Thank you. Hello.